Section 1 of An Alphabet of History. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by April Gonzalez. An Alphabet of History by Wilbur D. Nesbitt. Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great was a victim of fate, and he sighed there was naught to delight him when he brandished his sword and defiantly roared, and could not get a country to fight him. All the armies he chased, all the lands laid to waste, and he clamoured for further diversions, and our history speaks of his grip on the Greeks, and his hammerlock hold in the Persians. Though the Gordian knot, cut in two, in a spot, in his palace was labelled a relic, though the Bucephalus stuff gave him fame, he was huffed, he was grouchy and grumpy, was Alec. At the cause of his woe, he would have you to know, was the fact that he never was able to conduct a big scrap that a versatile chap of a war correspondent would cable. Instead of being quite glad, he would grow very sad when he told the fellows who fought him, as he thought of the lack of clicking Kodak in the hands of a man to snapshot him. We are told that he wept, in a dolefulness crept. Through his palace, the reason is hinted. There were not at that time magazines for a dime, and his articles could not be printed. Though it may seem unkind, ere his life we've outlined, we must say in some ways he was hateful, and in truth, we have heard he went back on his word, and was not Alexander the Grateful. End of section one. Recording by April Gonzalez in Cavite, Philippines.